femur lengthening with an antegrade piriformis entry precise nail. After a one centimeter incision is made, three drill holes are made at the osteotomy site. A two centimeter incision is made in the buttock for access to the piriformis fossa. Then a guide wire is inserted into the medullary canal until the distal end of the femur. The canal is then prepared with a flexible reamer up to the distal end of the nail. Rotational markers are inserted into the proximal and distal segments. The guide wire is then removed. The precise nail is then inserted up to the osteotomy site. The osteotomy is then completed using an osteotome. The precise nail is then passed across the osteotomy site until the distal end of the femur. The distal leg and bone are rotated around the nail to confirm a complete osteotomy. Locking screws are then inserted after the correct rotation is confirmed. At home, the patient uses the external magnet controller to typically lengthen the bone one-third of a millimeter three times per day, equaling one millimeter per day. After 10 days, there is 10 millimeters of length added. After 20 days, there is 20 millimeters of length added. After 30 days, 30 millimeters or one and a quarter inches of length is added. This can be progressed up to 8 centimeters as needed. During the consolidation phase, the new bone hardens and heals. After one year, the implant is typically removed through the same small incisions.